Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to modded Minecraft 1.12 playing Direwolf 20. We are having fun, loving it to steal a phrase from somebody else on the server. What are we working on today? We are going to get started on G industry. Finally, you guys have been saying it. We're going to do it. We don't have the power infrastructure quite yet where we need it, but we're going to work on that some. I'm going to work on that off camera while we're waiting for things to, to happen. we got a lot of waiting in this, but uh, we need to do something, something real quick. Notice my levels. We're at seven. And if we look right there, yep. Yep. After the last episode, and I was clearing out all of my inventory. I decided to start laying out all those hives that we had gathered. And I forgot to hit them with the smoker. Um, and, um, and yeah, anyway, the bees got me. So it's time. We're going to craft something here from the gravestone mod. And there we go. And we'll get our info right like so. And we'll say night night to JD. He's going. Deadcraft still here. And now that I've told you about this, we can actually remove it from the map. And let's go to waypoints. Yes. Remove. There we go. Okay. Now, this thing, I wanted to put, I wanted a separate area for the gravestones. And I'm going to do this back here. So we'll find, yeah. Maybe right, right here at the tippy top of my base area. We're going to take the gravestone, put it right there, and then we'll put this like so. No. Uh, I guess that's, that's all you can do. Oh, oh, oh. Hopefully I didn't crash the server. Let's put this here. Another, oh, you know what? Maybe we should take a look at it. See if it tells. Okay, that's everything I lost while I was. Okay, but it doesn't tell you how it happened. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll just put that there. And there we go. Now it's time to get into the rest of our episode. So we're going to go back to the main area where I have set out all of the crafting recipes like we're used to. And I need to get rid of some of my inventory here. Let's throw that and that uh, like so, and like so. Put that there. Hammer we're gonna keep on us, and then we'll put the rest of this stuff up here. Okay, I think we're good to go. So, first things first, we're going to need to be taking a look. Let's 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 get up the recipes here. Now I saw something on. Java Dad's, uh, one of his recent ones. We've got the Advanced Mutatron. Huh, what does that take? Bronze Gear takes a regular Mutatron. Oh, yeah, we're going to be working on this thing. We're going to get up to that one. But we need a Mutagen Producer. Look at this thing. So we've got all the bronze that you could ever want in here. Two power modules that takes bronze gears and pistons and all sorts of fun stuff. And then this mutagen tank. All right. So I've got these things laid out right here. We're going to need, I think, 16 bronze gears. We're going to grab that. And then we take uh, three of those each like so. And that gives us the power module. And you saw me build one of those earlier with the Scooper Raider MX200 Turbo. We're going to need some sturdy casings. And then we're going to need the mutagen tank and we're going to need uh, the genetics processor. And that's for the mutatron. Maybe we'll come back to that in just a moment. I'm going to grab these B receptacles and then over here, that one, uh, I'm not sure about, let's see, grab that genetics processor. And then hopefully here we can say, Yes, give me the mutagen producer. And then here, mutatron. We still need two bronze ingots. This thing, I can't remember what that one was for. Anyway, let's come over here and get 
some bronze. Do I have any bronze? Yes. Got five there. And we're going to need a whole lot more, I think, to get even up to our um, our advanced Mutatron. What was this thing for? I can't remember. There's something else. Mutagen producer. Industrial. Aha. That's what we needed it for. We need an industrial apiary. There we go. Okay. Next order of business is to make this advanced Mutatron. We'll see what we need there. Bronze gear. So we need four of those. All right, so let's just grab that real quick. We need, uh, we've got a little bit of bronze there, but not enough. And this this mod just takes all, all the bronze. Grab that and that. Let's see what else we, get, we can get into here. Okay, mutagen. Okay, we need the bronze gear. Let's grab that. Okay. And then... Next up is quartz. Let's grab a piece of that. And then we need one of these power modules. That's going to take four more bronze gears plus a couple of pistons. Okay, so that means what? Eight of those. Two of those. Two of those. Okay. Grab that. All right. And then we need to get into the power module. Can't quite do that. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What else do we got? Okay, we're going to need four more of those. So even more copper and tin. Because, yep, you're just going to need it. That's the name of the game here in forestry. You need bronze. And that takes a lot of copper. All right, so... Over here, genetics processor, we need two of those, so what? Okay, and then that, and then diamonds, lots of diamonds, we don't have enough yet, and a couple inner pearls, okay, two more diamonds, one more of those, and two of those, should be able to get the Genetics processor there. Two of those. Excellent. And then here. Still not quite two gold. Is that enough? Redstone. Let's just get a stack. That should be good. And then advanced Mutatron. No, bronze gears. Bronze gears. Yep. Yep. That was right. And is this going to be enough bronze for our needs right now? Let's just see. No, we still need a little bit more. Just a bit. Oh, man. Tons of bronze. Yep, yep, yep. That's the name of the game. All right, so it's a, it's a wonder why I need to do a lot of mining on that. Did I not? Okay, it's iron. That's right. All right, so we got those four, and then we can do this, and we get our advanced Mutatron. All right, so we got Mutagen Producer and Mutatron, and what we're going to do is grab one of our power cells here, do that and we'll set this up um let's spend a lot of time thinking about this right there okay and we'll do hmm i need power to go directly to both of these machines but then yeah we're just going to do that okay so both of these should be getting rf 5 million on that one, 1. 1.6 million on that one, and then we're going to need a fluid duct. I think we've got some over here. And I wonder if, I wonder if this type of fluid is so-called um, uh, 
you know, has a high temperature. I don't know if it does, but you know what? We'll just find out. So, so what we got to do is we're going to use the power of Genistry and this mutagen stuff that this particular machine is going to create. And we're going to use it to split apart bees and get us the ones that we want. And so I've got this list of bees that I want. Um, the, the first one is going to be iron. We also need redstone, copper, diamond, quartz, emerald, nickel, gold, maybe obsidian, draconium, Certus, lapis and glowstone that's a tall order we're not going to get all of those right now it's not going to happen what we need to do though is we need to start down the one that's going to uh, get us the iron so let's take a look at at that and do iron ingot and we'll see what we can get out of, out of there so if we go over here huh how does that work so maybe let's take a look at the rusty comb a rusty bee rusty queen and usages bee produce so if we get the iron comb usages there iron comb put that in the centrifuge we get iron grains and then we can use that to make pulverized iron. So four iron grains gets us one iron dust. And you get a 5% chance of an iron comb from a rusty princess. So uh, we're going to, it's not gonna be the most efficient, but hey, it's gonna be something where we don't have to quarry. So we need meadows with a resilient, or forest with a resilient, okay? So those are fairly easy to come by. I got plenty of those in my apiarist backpack, but resilient is the one we need to get to. Bee breeding, industrious, plus robust. Maybe I should start taking notes. Uh, well, we'll we'll go all the way back. So how about we focus on industrious for now and get down there. So diligent and unweary, common, cultivated. So we need to get a common one, and that's going to take a forest princess with a meadows drone, and, and we can get a common. So let's take a look at our apiers backpack, clean out our inventory here. Oh, we also need to be making some of this mutagen, and we'll see what this does. Oh my. That takes its sweet time, doesn't it? So how much redstone do we have? Not tons. We'll just fill that up. Let that, that get filled up. And we'll come over here. Grab our apiarist backpack. And then we'll take out a good forest princess and meadows drone. Unless we've got a modest bee somewhere. No, we got a got a meadows drone. Meadows, resilient industrious diligent so we need common and then cultivated so let's go back here common is forest and meadows cultivated is common plus forest so we need a common either way all right so we'll grab meadows drone and forest princess it's all modest in there let's see Common, common queen. All right. Forest princess, meadows drone, forest princess, modest drone. Okay, there's quite a few. Okay, so we've got we've got some options here. So let's let's go back into here. We've got wintry drone, meadows drone, meadows princess, ignoble stock. We don't want that one. Wintry princess, pristine stock. Okay, so let's go over here. Oh my, that is going to take forever. What if I remember that Eulorium actually does a little bit better, gives you a little bit more mutagen, I think. So we shall see. Although the Eulorium is going to be useful for our power requirements. 
over here. 600. Hmm. That is going to take quite some time. I might have to go off camera for a bit while we get this filled up. What's that going to What's that going to give us? I think we need a thousand millibuckets. Yeah. Okay. So let's do Meadows drone and we can get the common queen. So that's going to, oh, labware. That's another thing. So let's pull that up. Labware. We need diamond and glass panes. So it's going to be a diamond heavy mod and and bronze heavy. Let's make our glassware here. Diamond. Excellent. So that gives us 16 of those. All right. There we go. And that took, yep, sure enough. Well, what do we have the most of right here? We've got 59 Eulorium there. How about Uranium? It's or Eulorium blocks. Can we just chuck one of those in there? No. Uranium? Uranium won't go in there. Huh. They've done something. Yeah, the ore dictionary is messed up for Uranium and Eulorium. That's going to be a problem because I don't have tons of redstone. we got a little bit, but not tons. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. I wonder. Well, let's let's just do this. We'll use some of these and if we can figure out how to get more Eulorium later. So we got a common queen. Excellent. And then what we're going to do is take this industrial apiary and go over to our, um, our bee breeding area over there. It's got to be in a plains and we're not in a plains area right now. This has, okay, and, and we still need a cultivated. Cultivated we can't get unless we've got a common, yeah. So we need to come over here to our plains area. We've got plenty of flowers all around. Bring up the chunk borders. Excellent. Drop this down right here and then put power cell right here. Set that to out and we'll put common queen in there always on does she need anything temperature's good energy required 20 kr of a tick anything else required hmm always on requires redstone always on temperature's normal well, what else do we need here? Huh. Oh, it's just going. Oh my. That is going to take quite some time. All right. Well, that's going to be the name of the game for now. I guess I'm going to have to go off camera and do this a little bit more. And, and, and yeah, we just got to wait. I've got to wait for mutagen to get produced. And then I've got to wait for that queen to cycle through. Yep. Yeah, so how about here? We've got plenty of mutagen in there now. Let's just do a little bit more. That's a thousand. So what? we're at 5,600 right there. And we'll see what this one produces almost. So one ingot started at 5,600. 1,000 millibuckets from Eulorium. Okay. And, and here, we'll just put a bunch of redstone in just for grins and giggles and see how that goes. All right. Well, the name of the game right now is just waiting. And so, um, so yeah, I, I will go off camera and get the common queen cultivated up and, and we'll go from there. Well, I figured I'd bring you in for a little progress update and I have had to drastically increase my power, uh, well, power generation and finding some bugs in the pack between uranium and eulorium. So 
we're having some issues there. So I'm going to have to try and figure out some other power in the meantime. So we won't be able to do too many of these uh, genetic manipulations because it tanks the power. Anyway, what we've got here is a common princess and a couple of common drones. We come here, let's go back down the rabbit hole here. Diligent, common plus cultivated. We need a common princess and a cultivated drone, right? So the way to get a cultivated drone is to mix a common princess and a forest drone or meadows drone, okay? So we're gonna take, uh, we've got common princess here and a forest drone, unknown genome. So we're gonna take the common princess, put her in there, forest drone there, and we've got labware in there. So, yep, there we go. And we should get cultivated queen. Okay. And then that will give us, no, let's go back one, resilient, industrious, diligent. So if we get a common princess and a cultivated drone going, then, uh, then we should be good to go. So forest drone, let's go into the apiarist backpack. We've got a meadows drone there, but we need, uh, let's see, wintry princess and forest drone. We can get a common queen there and we'll do that. Uh, and I've set some other of those uh, apiaries up. So let's see what else we can do. Meadows drone. These we want to keep and run those through the apiaries. Okay. And we need to make another common. And, you know, we could go through this whole process and there's ways of copying the bees, but I uh, don't quite want to get into that yet. Wintry, it's a wintry queen, but we can't run wintry princess. Come over here. Meadows princess, pristine stock. Uh, we can't do meadows drone. So how about a forest drone? Wintry drone. Let's see what that gives us. Common. Okay. So it takes a little bit of the mutagen, but we're going to run those in the apiaries for now. Let's head on over there and see what we've got. And in the meantime, let's put those combs in there to get centrifuged and come back over here. Be nice. We had some sort of fast travel back and forth. Maybe we can work on that, but not for the time being. So nothing there. Let's put the common queen in there and common queen is going right there. She should be done soon. Common queen there and cultivated queen right there. What does she need? Good. Got power. Got power. This one's almost done. That's not going too quickly though. Okay, it just takes a while. And so that seems to be the name of the game. Let's see what this one gives us. We'll probably get a common drone and well, a couple common drones and a common princess. Oh my. Does a watched apiary generate bees? Oh, come on. Check all around here while we're doing that. Maybe it'll finish up. Rocky drone. Princess. Over here. Not quite done. There we go. So we got a common drone and common princess. And so now we just wait for this cultivated one to, uh, to complete up. All right, well... More waiting, and we'll be back a little later. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are back at home base, and I've done a little bit more research and done a little bit more work and mining and all sorts of fun stuff. You can see bees uh, just buzzing around, and you may be wondering what in the world's going on. It's because I brought my industrial apiaries over here, and you may be thinking, well, how are they still running? You're in a swamp, and it's nighttime. Well, there are some upgrades that you can put in these things. Light upgrade lets this thing run even at nighttime at a little bit extra energy consumption. And then the plane simulation upgrade, a little bit, a lot more energy consumption, but it makes it look like 
this swamp is actually a plains and that's fine that, that means that we can have our apiaries here instead of over there we don't have to keep flying back and forth we've also got an automation upgrade in here we're building up drones so we've got common there common here common here i don't know if those drones are all clones of each other probably not and then we've got a cultivated here that is going gangbusters so um, I have done some additional research into the Genistry mod and found that uh, we're, we're going about it not, I wouldn't say incorrectly, but we're not going about it in a smart manner. So the way I've been doing this is just thinking I'm going to do each tier. And if we take a look here, let's, let's go into the Rusty Queen. And we're, we're trying to go for the Resilient, right? Meadows plus Resilient equals Rusty. And the Resilient requires industrious and robust but just this industrious right here we get our diligent princess right here with an unweary drone and to get an unweary drone we're going to have to breed a diligent with a cultivated and so to get that cultivated drone that's fine but then we get our diligent princess and and then we have to use the diligent princess here again so the way we're going about it is that we would essentially have to go through this whole process multiple times to get multiple diligent princesses that's not the smart way of doing it. Gendistry includes some things where you can set up templates for bees. We need to go down that route rather than, than this. So uh, I'm, it's not really the smartest way to start, but we've at least got a little bit of a start. I'm not going to go any further with these. We're going to go deep into Gendistry, but um, we're not going to do that today. No, instead we are going to say adieu. We have spent a lot of time already just with this uh, initial initial look into the Genistry mod. We've got a few other things we need to take care of too. Our power requirements are going to drastically increase once we go down the route of templates and, and all of that fun stuff with Genistry. A little bit more. We've already seen it with the mutagen producer. It, it taxed our resources greatly. We need better infrastructure and that's clear. And so I'm going to step back and and we're going to work on power generation yet again. So these tools right here, the thermoelectric water wheel and the, the windmills way up in the sky there, they're not cutting it. There's more stuff in immersive engineering that we're going to go down into and we're going to take care of that um, in the next episode. Now, also, uh, I, I had asked you about a quarry. We're not going to do a quarry. I've, I'm, I've decided that. We are instead going to go into immersive engineering, see what that has to offer for or mining and processing. And um, so uh, the power requirements there are pretty large as well. So let's get our power structure infrastructure in place. And then we can work on some of the uh, some of the higher power mods and, and various things. So that's that's the plan tentatively. Let's work on power next time we're together. And then after that, we'll work on uh, the ores and and some more automated ways of getting copper and diamonds, especially though those are the biggies for forestry and for immersive engineering so i think we need we need some help there rather than just going mining all the time but hopefully you enjoyed this quick look at at gendistry a initial initial look we're going to dive deep into it a little later probably next week depending on uh, on how things fall out on the schedule but uh, suffice to say we will get there and we will get our rusty bee we'll get copper bees and we'll get all of that stuff but uh, we we need to step back and, and work on our infrastructure so that we're not waiting around for these steps and we can um, yeah, anyway it's it's part of it's part of something called sharpening your saw uh, if you are a craftsman it, it take it pays to take a little bit of time work on your craft and then you actually are more efficient later on so we're going to step back work on our power and work on our ore processing and then uh, we can be more efficient with our time. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on the channel. That's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.